Hi guys, this is Donna with Love Rocks, and we're back with one more St. Patrick's Day uh, rock. This is our cow named Lucky. Um, I wanted to do something simple, and I wanted to do something that was kind of fun, so this is what we came up with. Um, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to the channel, tell you guys how much I really appreciate all your support. And those of you who have not subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps us out. It helps us to be able to push our channel out there and do more videos. Also, if you subscribe and leave a uh, comment under this video, you'll be in the drawing for this rock. Uh, we'll draw for this rock in a couple of days. I'll put the date in the uh, description. So let's get started. I want to start by apologizing for not getting this video out faster and for not uh, getting the last uh, rock out faster, the drawing. Um, we have had, uh, I'm in Texas, and we have had a string of really bad storms. Um, we've had tornado watches. We've had 100-mile-an-hour winds. We've had just a lot of stuff going on. And along with that, um, I think I've mentioned in other videos, we are under full construction. We had a, a slight accident in our, well, a big accident in our house. Um, and so we have three rooms that are in full construction right now, including our kitchen, dining rooms, and, or dining room and living room. So there's been a lot going on in our home. And so I do apologize, but we got this rock out. I wanted to do an easy one. I try to throw an easy one in there every once in a while just because I want people to gain their confidence and be able to uh, do something that um, doesn't feel quite as difficult as some of the other rocks that um, I've put out there. So I, I hope that you do take the chance and I hope that you do try to do some of these rocks. Uh, there'll be some more rocks out there that are a little more difficult. I'll try to get those out uh, over the next few weeks, but I want to throw in a few easy ones here and there. Also, um, I seem to have become the gnome channel, and I really didn't want to be known for just doing gnomes. I wanted to do other things. Um, but I'll, I will tell you, my gnomes go viral. That's the ones that... Man, they just shoot up there. Uh, I think my Valentine gnome's up to almost 4,000 views. And um, my Easter gnome is, is shooting up there pretty fast as well. So I love to do gnomes. And I want to send some more out and, and let you guys see them. Um, I just, I don't want to do just gnomes. I don't want you guys to get bored with them. So anyways, here we go. Um, this little cow sketched it out. I wanted to try something different. Um, I've been watching a lot of different uh, painting videos, and so I, I kind of attacked this one a little bit different. Threw in the lines first with my black paint, and then went back in and put in um, my coloration. And I don't know, I you know, I always want to try something once and see if I like it, see if it if it feels comfortable. And I, I'm not sure that it really felt that great doing it this way. But I, I guess what I want to get across is don't be scared to try different things. Watch different people, see how different people do it, and then try it and see which one you like the best. Um, I did it this way this time, and I may try it a couple more times, uh, and then come up with the one that I like the best. I still like putting in my color first and then if I'm going to outline something, outlining it uh, last. It just seems more comfortable to me. But you try it and see what you like better. Um, with this little cow, of course, I can't help myself. I have to do some shading. So I did shade along uh, her little, or I guess it's a him, uh, his little belly um, underneath and around his legs, the the, the best that I could uh, with a cartoon um, and, and just tried to get some shading in there before I put in the spots. Um, this one was kind of a quick rock and so I didn't get a lot of shading in, but I did get a little bit before I started putting in the spots. Uh, it turned out really cute. I think that this would be a fun one to do with kids. Um, it, it just seems to be something that's 
Um, it's just, it makes you smile. It's, it's a happy little thing. And I threw a little four leaf clover or three leaf clover, sorry, in there, um, in his mouth. And, um, I just, he was, he was fun little thing to do. So I will tell you, and as you watch towards the end of the video, you'll see it. Uh, <laughs> uh this rocks, there has been a couple of rocks. Uh, my dad brought me rocks from uh, Arizona and he brought me like 300 rocks. They were in these big old um, uh, tote things. Anyways, there is a couple of these rocks. It's always the same color. It's a sandstone color. And I, both, both of them that I've used so far, and there's several more to go, um, I'll paint on it. I'll wet it. It looks good. Looks like all my colors are going to be fine. I'll dry it, clean it, um, and then I'll I'll start painting it. And I'll get to the end of the painting, and I'll put on that first layer of spray. And oh my gosh, I start losing my paints. They just start um, blending with the background. And this was another one. Um, my green, the green grass on the bottom, and the green. Uh, Clover both turned into just, they just kind of melted into the background. So you'll notice at the end of the video, I actually uh, stop, get another color. I show you another color and I, I put some highlights on the, that grass and that clover because I just, I couldn't believe that it, it melted into that background so badly. So anyways... It happens, and it's happened to me a couple of times now, and it's always been the same color of rock, the same kind of rock. So um, that one is pretty deceiving for, for me. Uh, I do get some of my rocks in uh, the big box stores. I, I have gotten several bags of rocks from them, but the rocks that I've been using lately have been rocks that my dad actually picked up. And he literally went out, him and his wife, my, my stepmom, and picked up the rocks. So <laughs> these meant a lot to me. Um, they, were, they were collected by him. And uh, we, uh, I've been painting them just left and right and trying to get through them. I, I love doing it. So anyways, that's what I did with the rock. And again, these are not polished these are not perfect these things are very imperfect and uh but they just they turn out so dang cute so anyways i do love them uh because they're so porous this one especially um i did put several layers of paint on it and um i can already tell i'm gonna have to put several uh coats of sealer on it before it's gonna feel to me like it's it's got a good a good heavy seal. Um, I, I don't necessarily need to have a high shine. If I was going to do that, I would uh, use the resin, but I do want to make sure that they're sealed really well. Um, if you win a rock from me or you buy a rock from me, uh, know that I do try to really seal them. If you're going to leave them outside, you, it is a spray sealer, so you're going to want to check it every once in a while and make sure that it hasn't uh, started to started to lose that seal. Um, I've got some that have been outside, uh, but I, I, I really can't tell you how long that seal will last. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? We, uh, I'm hoping that this construction will be completed soon. Um, and as soon as it is, then I'll be able to spend a little more time painting. And hopefully I'll get a few more videos out faster so that, that you've got them. Uh, I've got quite a few ideas of things that I want to do. Um, so if you have other ideas, please, again, I, I may not do them right away if you throw them in the comments. But know that I do have a list of things that people have asked for and I'm trying to pull out of that uh, specific group of ideas when I come up with something. So anyways, please 
I, I really enjoy the comments and I really enjoy hearing what it is you'd like to see. So with this little guy, I did do some highlights on the fronts of his hooves so that you could see that edge. When you've got that black hoof laying on another black hoof, that's about the only way you're gonna be able to distinct between the, the two feet is to put in that highlight on that right-hand side. So uh, for those of you who are in, in intermediate painters, you know, I'm sure you know this. Um, for those of you who are beginner painters, and, and I, really, I really enjoy working with both, um, it, make sure that you're putting a little bit of highlight on the front of those hooves. And to do that, you just add the teeniest, tiniest bit of white to your black, uh, so that it's just maybe one, possibly two shades lighter, and then you're you're going to put that along the edge. You're going to make that um, along the edge of the front of the hoof, and then along the bottom of it, uh, probably about halfway across the hoof, and that'll give you that that distinction between those two between those two hooves, and then. Um, I don't know, because he is a cartoon cow, um, I did put um, some highlight on his nose, and I do put a little smile on his face, and I put two little nostrils. Um, I didn't get super heavy on the, on the shading on this one, uh, but you can get very creative with your shading and, and you could get much deeper shades in it than I did even. So I just, I did put some and I put some highlights across the top of his nose so that you could tell that that's where the light hit. But for the most part, I didn't do a ton of shading on him. I feel like it's kind of hard to shade and, and highlight something that's not going to be shiny. Um, you know, they're furry and, and things. So I, I'll, I'll put some on it, but I didn't put a whole lot. Uh, his ears, ears were pretty easy. Actually, this whole thing was pretty easy. I just freehanded him. And I hope that uh, you have seen some of my other videos because I talk about a application that you can get, an app for your phone that uh, is real nice if you can't freehand. Um, you take a picture, you run it through the app, you hold the phone up, you know, so many inches away from your rock until it fits, and then it projects the picture down on your rock, and then you trace that projection, and it gives you um, your picture. Um, I, I guess the biggest time that I use it, because I do have the app and I do use it, is when I'm doing something that's lifelike such as uh, I have a video out of the mammoth. I used it to place um, certain parts of its face on the mammoth just to make sure that my the, the, everything was lined up and everything was in proportion on his face. Um, I also did, oh, I didn't put that video out. I did a llama and uh, I was having trouble with one side of his chin. I couldn't get his chin to, to come in right, and so I did use it for the llama to try to get that chin line in. And I, once I got it scooted over just a little bit, I'm like, there, there's his face. You know, if you don't have the proportions right on something that's lifelike, you can really tell it's off. And sometimes you can play with it and play with it before you finally get it, finally get it right. And uh, that particular app works wonders. I have an iPhone, and so I know that uh, it's available for iPhone, but I also heard that it was available for Android. So um, if you are interested in that, please let me know. I will tell you that it is it's in one of my other videos, but I, I, can, uh, I can let you know what that is. Um, I tried to put the link to it, on that particular video, but it it wouldn't link. Um, you, you can't necessarily put a link to an app. If you can, then somebody has a much better concept of how to do that than I did because I never could get it to work. But if you want it, you are more than welcome to uh, message me and I can give that to you. I also put it on my Facebook group. 
So you're also welcome to, please, I encourage you to jump on my Facebook group. I put things on there all the time. We share all kinds of of different little things outside of the YouTube channel, um, such as people that are are painting and what they're doing and, you know, uh, brushes. I've had a lot of people ask about brushes and uh, paint colors and things like that. So please get on our YouTube group. I do have that link in the description. And um, that particular app is in my YouTube group. If you have, especially if you're a beginner, I encourage you to ask questions. Um, ask me, ask somebody else, ask somebody else in this group. Um, please reach out. Don't ever feel like you're there alone and don't have anybody to turn to. That's what this is all about. So please, if you are a beginner and you haven't started to paint and you're not sure what you need to do or, or get or have, oh, I, I really encourage you to reach out to all of us and, um, and, and watch the videos. I, I talk about uh, supplies a lot in my videos. Um, I am using currently uh, two different brushes. One is a, kind of a no-name brush, and I use that for like my blending brush, and I think my fine line brush is a kind of a no-name brush. But the rest of the brushes I use are, um, I think they're, I think you pronounce it Benici. It's B-E-N-I-C-C-I. You see, um, and you can get them off of Amazon. Uh, the link will be inside the description. And uh, I'm hoping to work a deal with them where I can get um, I can get some sort of a, I don't know, maybe a discount for my viewers. So I'm working on that now because I really like the brushes and I think you guys would enjoy them. They're inexpensive, but they last and hold up pretty well. Brushes seem to get um, deteriorate pretty fast when you're painting on rocks because you've got that rough surface all the time. So, I anything that that is of decent quality and you know not too expensive, I I encourage you to look at. And these these are really they're good brushes. I've had a lot of uh, good experience with them. So that too will be in the description. So if you want to look at that, or if you have questions, you can always email me or you can message me through Facebook. So uh, I think that this little cow, um, some of the, I don't know how to put this, some of the areas that look almost jagged where it looks like my lines weren't too straight or you know they weren't really uh they weren't really coming together right is the fact that this rock is really really rough um to be honest with you after I started painting him I realized you know I probably should have thrown a couple of, of layers of sealer on this one before I started painting I didn't I didn't quite realize that it was going to be as rough as it was. So I, it surprised me, but I thought, ah, eh, it's a fun rock. I'm not going to worry about it too much. So if you have a rock like this that has a ton of porous uh, areas on it, I would encourage you to spray it a couple of times before you start. Don't do what I did. It, you can't hardly get a, a good, smooth, straight line with it. So... But it was fun. It was enjoyable to do. And definitely one that I want to I wanna take to my grandkids. I think they would enjoy doing this one. But I don't know if I'll do any more of the uh, St. Patrick's Day ones. This will probably be the last one that I do. So here's where I got the lighter color paint because you can see all my green kind of melted in and I started putting the highlights in my in my grass because I needed to I needed to bring that forward because you couldn't hardly see it it really mixed in. After the rock dried, I will tell you it it did help a little bit and you could see it a little bit better. So well there you have it. Little St. Patty's cow or a cow named Lucky. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was just kind of fun and 
please come back. Uh, we'll have some more videos. I'll do some a little bit of a harder one next time, but I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye.